Hi, I'm Caitlin Lazardi, and I'm a product designer for Sizzix. I think my journey as an artist started with a passion for illustration. I um, always loved children's books and I wanted to have my career be an opportunity where I can take my art and share it with people and for me looking back at my memories as a little child reading books with my grandma like that was something that was really important to me and so I ended up going to school um, for art pursuing illustration and um, with that it kind of opened my eyes to how big art is as a field it was kind of like a gradual realization of crafting as a career. I think a lot of my inspiration comes from children's books and animated films. If you look at my designs or my illustrations you'll see like bright colors, a lot of whimsy and fun patterns and things like that and looking at different cultures as well. I actually fell in love with llamas after one of my friends went to Peru. I think things that are like decorative and cute and have character like those are the things that really inspire me and I really love nature. Something people don't know about me is that I'm a brown belt in karate. I know. <laughs> my mom and my dad, actually, that's how they met. My mom studied under my dad. He was her sensei. And so they fell in love because he's all handsome and dreamy, right? <laughs> so I'm a brown belt. Um, yeah, so I can really bring it. <laughs> I grew up in Pomona. I'm the middle child out of the five of us, so uh, I have two older sisters and my younger brother, and I was the total tomboy as a little kid. I remember uh, we would dress up as cowboys and Indians and be running around in the field next to our house. I don't know, I kind of grew up just loving being outside and like immersed in my imagination and creativity. I caught a fish with my bare hands, yeah. <laughs> not relevant, but... <laughs> So my mom was an artist and because of that I think she always encouraged uh, the arts in my family. Uh, I really love to play music like uh, Chopin, Debussy, Rachmaninoff, all of those, the Romantics um, and the Impressionists are really my favorite artists and so I was able to take it really far and eventually um, was competing and uh, I had my own concert that I put on so that was a really amazing experience and something that I will always cherish. My greatest success is the fact that I'm able to do what I love. I mean, of course I had my fears like, oh gosh, I, I really don't wanna be a starving <laughs> artist. But I'm really proud of the fact that I was able to stick it out and my parents were always really encouraging. Having them behind me was the reason that I was able to continue on and really be true to myself. I think my mantra in life would probably be embracing your perfect imperfections. I think it's those little imperfections that really make us what we are and make us special. <laughs>